Subscribe to smartphone tutorials and hit the notification bell icon to get instant notification. Now with a channel like smartphone tutorials and with the audience like you guys there are a lot of experts who are involved and that is the reason I've been seeing a few comments here and there about Havoc OS. Now I know after Resurrection Remix and maybe AEX that's AOSP extended Havoc OS has gained the most amount of popularity. So I might use it as my daily driver for a couple of days and review it because before this we have to do Lineage OS. But for now we are going to install Havoc OS on the Pocophone F1. We'll have a quick review or a quick preview first look at it. But before we do that, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. At the same time, here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos390. Go ahead and check that channel out as well. Now without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, guys. So welcome to another video. And uh, in the last couple of days, you've seen a ROM or a couple of ROMs rather, which are not really daily driver material. And I did see a couple of guys saying that let's make some videos on ROMs that are actually daily driver material. So guess what? I picked one of the best ROMs available that is Havoc OS for today's install and preview. Now, of course, this is an install and preview video in which you will just see the installation and a quick, quick preview at this particular ROM. So first things first, let's get to the point. So in order to do this, you need to have a Poco phone, which has an unlocked bootloader TWRP install. In our case, we are using 3.2.3-2. Now that's the TWRP. Make sure you've backed up all your information. Nobody would be responsible for your data loss and you should have at least more than 50% battery. My phone is of course on 96% right now. And you need to have Havoc OS and open Google Apps inside your phone. Now, if you're coming from a stable ROM, I would highly recommend you flash the latest firmware zip, which will be linked in the description. So whatever the latest version is, just flash that. That is really useful. Otherwise, you may have issues with almost any custom ROM. So let's begin the flashing process here. First things first, let's go to wipe, advanced wipe, Dalvik cache system data. Don't wipe internal storage. That's where our files are. Swipe to wipe. Now, I will not be flashing the vendor firmware because I'm directly coming from 9.6.3 closed beta. So as it is, I have the latest firmware available. So then we will go to install, we will select Havoc OS, add more zips, and we will select Open G Apps, swipe to confirm flash. Now this is the latest build dated the 4th of June 2019. I will be reviewing it and the review for this ROM may be more than 10 minutes because there are that many features that are available. This is the only ROM which has the capability of dethroning Resurrection Remix as one of my favorite custom ROMs because even this ROM just like Resurrection Remix has almost every type of customization that you can ask for. So let's wait for this flash to complete and then we will proceed. All right, so as you can see, the ROM has been flashed. We will wipe cache in Dalvik, reboot system. Now, this of course is a first boot, although this is a Snapdragon 845 powered device, it may take up to three to four minutes. It usually doesn't take that long for the Poco to boot up. And there you see the Havoc OS boot animation. The logo comes and then we have a minimalistic boot animation. So let's wait for this to complete and then we'll have a look at the ROM and its features. So this is the very, very first experience. I've not made any changes. We've just entered the ROM as I would say, and you can see this small animation going here. First thing that we'll check is we do have the Google Now feed that is very, very important for me when it comes to any launcher. And over here, this is what makes custom ROMs very, very minimalistic. So as you can see over here, we just have what, uh, 10 and 4, 14, around 15 apps. Half, half of them are system apps. So first things first, let's go to settings here. And this ROM definitely follows the Android Pie guidelines. It's a very, very clean look is what we have. Now, if we go to about phone and if we click on the Android version, we do have the June security patch. Of course, this is a ROM based on Android 9 Pie. Now, let's quickly have a look at the smoothness and the initial impressions of this ROM. I like how they have put in this uh, pixel like pill gesture navigation bar or you know the pill at the bottom so this is something that i really really like although 
I have not used it in a lot of custom ROMs, but all that Google animation and stuff like that, it really, really makes you feel special when you're coming to a custom ROM. And the first impressions are pretty good. Let's see what camera we have over here. We have the default camera application, the one which comes with custom ROMs. So no brownie points there. But if we go to settings, and what matters for us in this particular ROM is the basic things. Is Wi-Fi working? Is network working? Yes, all of it is working. You can see that it has HD LTE plus. That means voice over LTE is working as well. Now, apart from this, let's quickly go through the Havoc settings over here. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this is what makes this ROM very, very special. Look at the amount of customization. You have to actually swipe down. That is the amount of menu options that you have. And then you have sub menus like these. So let's have a quick look over here. You have status bar, quick settings, interface, ambient display. This always intrigues me. I don't know why. So you have a lot of options like always on and stuff. So that is something nice. And quick settings, screen, buttons, navigation bar, gestures, lock screen, recents notifications animations and whatnot so basically this is amazing havoc os has a ton of customization i'm pretty sure you can get the complete black theme on this rom as well and you can do all sorts of customizations so throw in a g cam there and just customize it to your need and bam you will probably have the best rom setup available now how it will do in gaming and to benchmarks and day to day use battery life charging all that will be covered in the full video. This right here was a quick heads up for you guys that before I review it, if you want to give this a try as your daily driver, well, guess what? You can definitely do. All the basic amenities are working perfectly fine. There are no force closes, no bugs, nothing that I experienced. And it's, it's a quick two minute, three minute flash. At the most five minutes is what you'll take. So let me know in the comment section, how did you like this video? And if you've been watching this video till now, let's have a goal of 500 likes for this particular video. Let's see if we can make it. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off with Smartphone Tutorials. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.